The soft goods tool inserts theater and event planning draperies such as curtains, borders, scrims, and pipe and drape assemblies. Soft goods objects are drawn using the same vertex and arc modes as the polyline tool, so you can create any configuration for total flexibility. The 3D appearance of soft goods objects can be set for a realistic appearance or be displayed more schematically. The soft goods tool has multiple modes and settings for creating different types of objects. We are going to create a few borders. First, we will need to place a 2D locus point to help align the borders. In the view bar, choose soft goods main from the class list and soft goods from the layer list. Select view, layer options, show snap, modify others. Double click the 2D locus point tool in the basic palette. Set X to negative 30 feet, Y to 5 feet, and click OK. Convert the 2D locus point into a guide. Modify, guides, make guide. We can now use this locus point to start our first border. Switch to the spotlight tool set and select the soft goods tool. Select the Preferences button in the toolbar, set the function to Border, set the height to 6 feet, and click OK. Click on the 2D locus point to start the curtain, move the cursor to the right, and press the Tab key to activate the floating data bar. Set the length to 60 feet, press the Tab key, set the angle to 0 degrees, and then press the Tab key again to set the angle. Double click at the intersection of the constraint length and angle indicated by the dotted red lines to place the border soft goods object. Note, if you do not have RenderWorks, you will see a warning dialog box indicating that you will not be able to see images or textures. In the object info palette, with the border soft goods object selected, set the Z to 18 feet and scroll down to check Class Soft Good Parts. Leave Class Set set to Set 1. By checking the Class Soft Goods Parts option, Vectorworks will automatically create a class called Soft Goods Set 1 Borders and place the borders in that class. This functionality will help you manage and organize soft good objects. Next, we will duplicate this border a few more times and then use the Align and Distribute Items tool to easily arrange the borders. With the border selected, select Edit, Duplicate, or use the shortcut key Command-D on Mac or Control-D on Windows. Repeat three more times. You should have a total of five border soft goods objects. Activate the Select Similar tool in the basic palette. Click once on one of the borders to select them all. In the Spotlight tool set, Activate the Align and Distribute Items tool. Hover over the 2D locus point until a smart point appears. Follow the vertical dotted green extension line down to the inside of the proscenium wall. When the object Align H smart cursor queue appears, click once. Next, follow the vertical dotted green extension line up to the inside of the rear theater wall. When the object vertical cursor queue appears, click once. In the Align and Distribute dialog box, select Distribute and Evenly Inside Points. Click OK. Now we are going to create some curtains. We can convert the downstage soft goods object into a curtain by simply modifying its settings in the Object Info palette. Select the downstage soft goods object. In the Object Info palette, Set the Z to 0 feet, change the function to curtain, and the height to 24 feet. Finally, in the Object Info palette, set the curtain soft goods object to open from the center and the open width to 0 feet. Note, after changing this soft goods object to a curtain, a new class was created called soft goods set one curtains. This is because this soft goods object was set to class soft good parts. You can now control the visibility and class attributes of all the soft good objects or the borders and curtains individually.
Next, we will create the rest of the curtains. We will use the Move by Points tool, located in the Basic Palette, and the Duplicate Array command from the Edit menu to quickly create these curtains. With the Downstage curtain still selected, activate the Move by Points tool from the Basic Palette. In the toolbar, activate the Move mode, the Object Retention mode, and set the number of duplicates to 1. Move your cursor to the stage right end of the downstage curtain object. When the Smart Cursor queue insertion point appears, click once and move the cursor upstage. Press the Tab key to enter the floating data bar, set the length to 3 feet, press Tab, set the angle to negative 90 degrees, and press Enter or Return twice. In the Object Info palette, select Center from the Open From list. Set the Open Width to 40 feet and check Show Ghost Curtain. Next, with the Open Curtain still selected, select Edit Duplicate Array. Under Shape, choose Linear Array, set the number of duplicates to 3, choose Cartesian Offset, set Y to negative 5 feet, check Retain under Original Object, and click OK. Note, when creating hybrid 2D, 3D objects in Vectorworks, it is a good idea to occasionally switch to a 3D view to check your work. It's possible to enter an incorrect height or Z elevation and not notice it while working only in a top plan view. When working with multiple layers, before switching to a 3D view, you should make sure Unified View is activated. This command will align the layers with the active layer so they appear correct in 3D views. 